that looks that's it sort of like what you saw right yeah see this here was underwater yeah so i don't know but there there was a hump it looked a lot like that i mean the neck and everything cryptozoology is the study of hidden or unknown animals the way people really conceptualize it is this is a field that's a sub-discipline of zoology. There will never be a PhD in cryptozoology because it'll always be seen as an amateur science. The only accreditation you can get is spending years and years and years in this study. I have been hunting for champ for the last 24 years. There is something extremely weird going on here. In cryptozoology, we are pursuing legends, Yeti, Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster. You gotta keep the open mind, yet you gotta be very skeptical, logical, and well-balanced so that you uh, don't get taken. The coelacanth was supposed to have been extinct for 80 million years. The gorilla, the giant squid, and the Komodo dragon. These were all animals that were initially reported as sightings. These sightings gave rise to legends and folklore, and eventually a real animal was found to be behind the reports. Legends are the smoke above a fire. As cryptozoologists, we want to search for the fire. We want to search for the real animals, for the real evidence, and that often is clouded in legends. I mean, the bottom line is I want to solve this mystery. I want to take it and put it in a box and say, this is it, this is what it is. I would probably be mentally ill if I was still interested in cryptids 60 years later, if I didn't think there was some fire under that smoke. <laughs>